Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight's night 16 of my nightly Cody Bat Solution recording. Most schools are closed, so whether you're a student of mine or someone out there just learning to code, um, please feel free to follow along and send any questions. Tonight we're looking at string explosion, which is in warm up 2 section, and we're looking at the Python solution. It turns out Java doesn't have a string explosion question. The question states, given a non-empty string like code, return a string like C, CO, COD, CODE. And we can look at each of the examples here, but what I've done down here to help kind of show you what's happening is I've broken up the result. So the result is this. Let me just pull it all back. And what you notice is that it's taking the first letter and then adding the first two letters, then adding the first three letters, and adding the first four letters. And that will continue for whatever the length of the word is. And what I've done now is I've said, okay, well, this is index 0, index 0, 1, index 0, 1, 2, index 0, 1, 2, 3. And then above here, I've put in what is the substring that I would need to invoke that. And I see a pattern. I see every time the index is starting at 0, and then what it's doing is, is it's incrementing 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're just going to use string construction here. So we're going to make our string called result, make it empty. And then we're going to say 4i in range. And we're going to write a loop that goes through the length of the string. Because I notice that it ends at 4 and the length of the string is 4. We're going to go to the length of str. We're going to increment by 1 each time. And we're going to simply say result is equal to result plus str at 0i. And then I'm going to return result. And I see I have a problem. So let's figure out what's happened here. Well, we see that we get this. And notice I don't have that last case. So let's ask ourselves why that is. Well, the reason why that is is because notice this is going to the length of the string. And what a standard loop assumes, so the loop assumes that i is less than len of str. And this is why this is kind of a great question um, for a beginning programmer, because it forces you to actually then think about how can I modify this structure so that I get I want i to reach the length of str. And I do that simply by putting a plus 1 here. And there it is. You know, I've said this in a couple videos, and I can't stress this enough. There's two things. The first thing is it really helps to trace out those concrete examples and see if you can generalize what's happening. And the second thing is really get to know loops, really be comfortable manipulating the numbers such that you can make that loop kind of run through any sequence of numbers that you want. I hope this video helped. Have a great day.